From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good evening, I'm Dana Osgood from the Penn State Campus Weather Service, and here I have your CNET evening forecast. The story for Pennsylvania today is rain, rain, and more rain. From State College to Pittsburgh to wilkes Bar and Williamsburg, that's all we see. Pretty heavy cloud cover and lots of rain. A big deviation from the sunshine and very high above average temperatures that we've been seeing this past week, but unfortunately all good things must come to an end. So a rainy Beaver Stadium with the temperatures around 63 degrees. Luckily, despite all the rain, there is really no wind, so we're not going to have any of that um, blowing rain. That is really annoying because it feels like your umbrella just doesn't really do anything for that. Though it may help out our drought a little bit, all this rain. Temperatures are pretty consistent in kind of the mid to upper 60s right around our area. However, as per usual, it is a bit cooler in Erie and a bit warmer in Philadelphia, though that has been the trend for the past couple months, so no surprise there. As for our temperature change in the past 24 hours, if you've been outside today, you can definitely feel it. It's not nearly as warm as it has been over the past week. But now we're back to normal because last week was definitely an anomaly. Erie, they've lost 22 degrees in the past 24 hours, and in State College, it's been about 9 so if you go outside, you can definitely feel that change. Lots of rain today. The kind of yellow and orangey colors that went through our area was definitely the heaviest of the rain. So that's kind of moving out of our area, which is definitely nice. And that's the story for the East Coast today, because there is rain all the way from Florida to middle of New York. So no matter where you go on this side of America, can't escape the rain today. Checking on our most recent tropical storm, Ada, it is set to head through Florida and then out to sea. So there can be updates later as to whether this could come back in on our coastlines. However, it looks like it's headed out to the Atlantic Ocean for now. For the future weather, we have the rain kind of moving out of our area Wednesday, though it does stay in around Philadelphia and New Jersey into Thursday. Though we move out of there and once the clouds go with it, we get some bright sunshine into Thursday and Friday with a couple scattered clouds coming in later. As I mentioned, once the rain moves out, it brings with it its clouds and we don't really get any rain again until around Sunday, midday to evening and into Monday morning. It does say that we could get some snow with the kind of blue colors that are going through our area. However, I think that's kind of more of an upper atmosphere thing. It's probably going to be too warm on the ground to get any kind of accumulation here. A little too early in the season, but our snow lover is going to have to wait a little bit longer. For tonight, around 47 degrees and our rain kind of tapers off as the night wears on. As for tomorrow, temperatures return to around normal for this time of year, maybe still a little bit warm, but nothing like we've had for the past week, and partly sunny skies. And for the seven-day forecast, temperatures return to more normal around Thursday and Friday, bringing with it just a few clouds, mostly sunshine on Saturday, though the rain does return for Sunday afternoon into Monday morning. Tuesday of next week, temperatures drop significantly around 10 degrees back into the highs in the 40s, and a chance of rain does occur again on Wednesday. For the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Dana Osgood. Have a wonderful evening.